Hey there, Jerry's DIY here. And today, oh boy, what we're looking at is a set of, oh boy, I didn't account for the reflection here. What we're looking at, <laughs> what we're looking, <laughs> what we're looking at is uh, some great value, <laughs> uh, vintage uh, Edison light bulbs, which is really interesting. Um, I've seen these on the shelves at uh, in the light bulb aisle at the Walmart for a while, and I just wanted to just wanted to get some and try them out. As you can see, they they've got this nice little design, which always makes me think of like I don't know, it just it always makes me think of a pretzel or something. I don't know why. It just kind of kind of has that shape to it. It's kind of fascinating to me. <laughs> see, they have a uh, 125 lumens, and I believe the uh, what's what's the amperage here? I'm sorry, what's the wattage here? Use about 4.5 watts, which is a 25 watt equivalent. They are dimmable. 2,175 Kelvin. Okay. <laughs> Last for about 13.7 years, based on three hours a day of usage, which is probably a while. That's uh, that's a pretty good amount of time that these would last. These are standard A19 style, of course, and uh, uses the uh, medium base or the E26 screw base. They're ROHS compliant and underwriters laboratories listed as you can see uh, anything can be really ROHS compliant so long as it doesn't have hazardous materials present in it so let's check out the bulb and here we are with the uh, great value Edison bulb it's quite interesting um, if you notice it's like uh, a bit mirrored there's a little bit of mirroring in there it's a uh, Kind of like a little vacuum tube, just reminds me of that always. Like the nice little loop to loops going on in there, there's about three of them. So if you notice the filament, or filament, is uh, a bit orange. That's to uh, get the color temperature. You can see the circuitry in there. And if you look very closely, you can see the LEDs in series, but they're kind of hidden, which is really neat. Anyway, moving on to the actual function of the bulb. Yeah. You can see it's a very, uh, kind of an amber color. And if you look right about here, you can see the etching on the bulb. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know how they do that, but it's an actual etching. It's quite nice. Um, looks like it was applied with some kind of sticker because there appears to be like some kind of faint a uh, circle around it. I'm not exactly sure how they did that. Maybe it's just uh, applied by heat or something like that. But yeah, here you can see it. And let's take a look here. Oh yeah. Check that out. <laughs> oh, that's far. I love doing that with this. <laughs> Check it out. That looks pretty cool. It's it's a nice warm color. I mean, 2175K. I mean, it's it's so nice. I even uh, put this one and the other one in my shop lamp up there. And it's just, it's really great. I mean, it's just <laughs> if you have like an old shop light they use for decoration, I would totally recommend using them for that. Um, they emit um, 125 lumens, which is I would say it's enough for some very nice ambient lighting. I don't think you would need too many unless you really wanted brightness, in which case you would just get something other than these. But I think it's enough to light a room, uh, say like a sitting room, maybe a library, or even maybe install four into a ceiling fan with one of those light kits on it. Uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, oh god, I shouldn't stare into it. It's bright enough with two of them, I can say that. They're very pleasant, although please do avoid uh, looking at the filament, because <laughs> these are much brighter. Alrighty, now the time it's uh bleh. Alrighty, now it's time for us to test the dimming ability of this bulb. Oh. <laughs> I think that was on that was all the way dim. Okay. This is it with the dimmer, and as you can notice there's quite a bit of flickering. So I'm gonna try to dim it. Okay, that was unexpected. Okay. 
Wow. Look at that. That's as dim as it gets. Oh my god, that is so dim. This gets really dim. That's really crazy. I've, I've, uh, I haven't even tested that before. Wow. Okay. I'm going to bring it all the way up. Okay, that's weird. It seems like it only wants to get just that bright. Uh, it doesn't want to go all the way. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you might not want to use this with a dimmer. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a it's like EDM uh, concert in here. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay. I'm, I'm learning all of this as I go right now. Uh, I would not recommend usage with a dimmer unless you want it really dim. Because this is stable. I'm not seeing that much flickering. It's not noticeable to me at this point. It only becomes noticeable when you have it, uh, I guess, all the way up. But this is this is fine. This is fine right here. Just don't go all the way with full brightness because for some reason it just does not like that. Uh, wow. We learned something today <laughs> about this bulb. <laughs> now, um, I just want to say, I just want to say, like, again, this is a, you know, this is a, a more of a novelty and also decorative item. So you're probably not always going to be doing that. Uh, this is a pretty good price for a light bulb, I think. Uh, well, two of these for the style that they are. I, I paid about eight seventy-eight. Maybe that sounds a bit high uh, for a two-pack of these. I personally wanted to splurge. You know, Christmas had come around, and yeah, this is my little little Christmas present to myself here. I like the light that it gives off. It's a nice amber color. Dimming ability is interesting. Doesn't put out a lot of heat because, of course, it's an LED. Should last a very long time, uh, depending on how long the driver goes on for. But it seems pretty nice. It feels nice in the hand. It has a nice heft to it. it seems like it's made of really good material. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs>